Governor Roy Cooper vetoed a bill today that makes significant changes to who oversees elections here in North Carolina. A legal showdown is looming with several issues impacting next year's election, likely headed to court. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with a closer look at that. Michael. Yeah, state lawmakers are going to make some significant changes over the next few weeks, including the rules for counting ballots and what the state's electoral districts are going to look like. Lawsuits are expected to quickly follow with some key deadlines approaching. This time, they're coming for every North Carolinian's right to fair representation. I would like to commend the General Assembly. Across North Carolina, people weighed in this week as Republicans in the legislature prepare to redraw the state's districts for Congress and the General Assembly. Republicans could make it easier to help their party's members win seats. That could be key in determining which party gains power after next year's election. We're fully going to be prepared to defend those in any court, state court, federal court, wherever. Uh, and also in the court of public opinion with the voters out there. Bob Phillips is with Common Cause North Carolina, which has sued lawmakers over this issue in the past. His group and Republican lawmakers are already preparing for courts to resolve this again. And making sure that indeed those districts are drawn that do not dilute uh, minority voting. This will happen on a tight timeline, with candidates filing to run for office in early December. It won't be the only issue the courts are expected to tackle ahead of the election. Republicans want to move up the deadline for mail-in ballots and restructure state and county election boards to make them evenly split between the two parties. They would also take power from Democratic Governor Roy Cooper to appoint people to those boards. Cooper vetoed that bill Thursday, saying it's unconstitutional. But Republicans are expected to override him, and lawsuits will follow soon after. The new law doesn't jeopardize freedom, but it ensures fairness and integrity in the elections process. The unfortunate thing is that feeds into a lot of the confusion. The General Assembly is expected to vote on all of these issues, including whether to override the governor's vetoes pretty early next month. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thanks.